Hey guys, I'm outside uh, shooting this video on my iPad, so uh, hopefully this comes out all right. I usually use my iPhone, or right now I have a the brand new XR, uh, and so right now I'm going to connect both of these two battery packs in parallel uh, with a voltage difference. So I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen but hopefully I can get my car out of the way and pull out of the garage and then run back here and uh, pull this out of the garage before I, I pull a rich rebuild or something. But um, So right now I wanted to show you the voltage that I have. So from the car, uh, I need to connect these. Again, it's hard doing this one-handed, but where is it? 344.5 volts DC uh, and then the T-Rex hopefully this comes out is 371 volts uh, so I'm not sure the difference is what's 30 something 40 50 60 70 what was it 27 ish uh, volts which is not nothing I mean these have a lot of power and we'll see what happens so right now what I'm gonna do is the contactors are already closed in the T-Rex here so that's the button for the the contactors so that kills these here uh, the whole unit is on which is that button there and it's getting that data through the can messaging system uh, so I'm gonna put this down and then I'm going to connect these two and then I'll come back here and we will hit that button and see what the display says. I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. Hopefully you can hear me because there's the fan right next to this uh, iPad for the DC to DC converter and also the pump is running circulating coolant. So uh, yeah, I'm going to hit the contact button and see what the hell happens. Here we go. One two, three. Oh, that's not that bad. 67 amps. And you can see how quickly it's dropping. In uh, one of the videos for that um, uh, got EVTV, there we go. Uh, he released, I've mentioned this a few times, had a great video. Uh, it was 10 hours long, but he had a great video in which about 10 minutes he uh, balanced two Tesla 85 kilowatt, kilowatt hour battery packs. Um, one was like 90% charge, the other one was like 40% charge or something, and the peak he saw was 255 amps. Um, so this is quite that, of course. So this really isn't so bad. So I'm not gonna let the video run this entire time while it balances. In his video, it took, I think, I think it was like two hours to balance those two packs. Uh, I actually don't want too much power to leave the T-Rex right now because uh, I'm planning, we're taking another trip tomorrow uh, so we, we've loved, my wife and I and my family, we've loved this T-Rex, it's been great to have. Uh, here it is winter time and it's like 10 degrees outside and I just connect this to the car. I don't have to worry about rain, we can use the heat, I could drive fast and we can get all over the place. So with a normal EV we'd be pretty limited here in the winter in upstate New York, but with the T-Rex we can go wherever and not even think about it so nice. Uh, so it's dropping pretty quick, but I'm going to close the contactor right now. So now it's off, and I'm going to fully charge the Rev 4, and then I will connect them both in parallel uh, in the morning when we uh, get ready to go. But yeah, I just wanted to make another video. I made one before, but the difference wasn't quite as high as this. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd make another another one with a little bit bigger of a difference because people seem to think that it's 
so bad and you're gonna burn your house down and uh, it's it's fine as, as long as you build the cables to handle the handle the volt uh, the amperage like these are uh, two op cables uh, these cables going to the battery in my car are two gauge but they're better than most two gauge it's a uh, special uh, high voltage wire designed for electric vehicles so this I think th these were rated to it was like 260 amps or something so it's, it's pretty high for a two gauge wire and there are just a ton of strands it's, it's really really great wire um, if anybody needs this stuff or if you're interested send me a message let me know I, I can't post uh, spec sheets on YouTube as far as I know but I can definitely send you guys some info if you're curious about that stuff so all right uh, looks like it was balancing just fine I'm gonna get off my iPad because it looks super grainy uh, my iPhone is in the process of uploading a video that I just shot for the contactors for the uh, T-Rex V2, which is right over there. Uh, all right, uh, that's it for this video. Have a nice night, guys. All right, one thing I just thought I would add uh, real quick was that, because uh, I'm sure it's gonna come up, uh, I let both the T-Rex and the car run for about 30 minutes, maybe, a little, maybe 35 so that the heater was going and got both of them up to temperature because obviously the last thing you want is to try to transfer heat or charge or do something in really cold temperatures. So uh, before anybody tries to scold me or something, uh, both cars, or both cars, both battery packs were up to temperature and transferring power between the two was fine. Uh, I, I, not sure if the temperature came out on the uh, controller on screen, but uh, I haven't seen the video yet. <laughs> but if it did, you can see that the temperature was good. Um, I think when I looked, I think it was 19 and a half low and like Celsius and 22 high. But either way, it's fine. If, if you're ever going to do something like this, of course, you want to make sure that uh, the battery cells are up to temperature because you don't want to create any damage or any issues from charging at too low of a temperature and right now it's probably 15 degrees i don't know between 15 and 20 i would say um fahrenheit fahrenheit by the way uh so that's it for real this time <laughs> see you guys